amazing to see this. Nissan has had a, a terrible year. That's the truth. Their car sales have fallen significantly this year in a market that has risen significantly versus last year. However, it did reveal the Aria, which it now sells its new electric car. The Nissan Aria is, I think, a pretty good electric car. And even though it's done some incredibly shady things over the last few months in terms of the, well, basically criminal things that it's done by stalking its employees and monitoring them with videos of their own houses. If you haven't heard about that, I'll put a link in the description to my video exposing that craziness. It did just make an, a very good decision. It's the first Japanese automaker to decide to use Tesla's NAX chargers or NACS chargers. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name's Sam Evans. And we have heard Toyota has been considering using Tesla's charging network. Hasn't made the call yet. I wonder if it will now that Nissan has made this decision. I think it's pretty clear to say now that we have German automakers, Volkswagen Group haven't done it yet, but we have German automakers, Mercedes, many brands, General Motors, Ford, Volvo, the list goes on, Nissan, now committing to using Tesla NAX chargers in their cars, in their next generation of EVs. It is very clear the Tesla standard is now the North American charging standard. Now, wasn't it interesting that when Tesla proposed that Tesla's NAX chargers should be the North American char charging standard, they were ridiculed, utterly torn to shreds by many sections of the media. Commenters were incredibly harsh, said that Tesla was utterly delusional, should not be the charging standard, even though it was, well, the best decision to make for obvious reasons. For one, most EVs in North America are Tesla's. Um, the best charging network is Tesla's charging network, so it just made a lot of sense. The best chargers were Tesla's chargers. I mean, they're reliable. They work well. Uh, they have good charging speeds. Uh, Tesla's network is clearly the best. So it's interesting here. Jim Farley, he really set off this avalanche. This, this avalanche, and I've got to say, Jim, on behalf of Americans, I'd like to thank you because having a multitude of different chargers is not good. It's not. It's terrible. It's like having different phones with different charger connectors. It's bloody annoying. So Jim, from Ford, well done. Good move, because you 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 led here. Like yeah, like when Joe Biden said to Mary Barra, you know, you, you led the electric revolution, Mary, well done. Well, I'm serious here when I say well done, Jim Farley, because this has led to the the new standard being the good standard, the best standard for consumers. So this is a good move. I've got to say the same to Nissan. Well done on making this decision. US and Canada will be affected for this because Nissan will begin offering electric vehicles in the US and Canadian markets with a, a NAX port, an NACS port. This will make charging at Tesla superchargers really easy, really seamless for Nissan EV drivers. Plus, they'll obviously get access to 12,000 superchargers in North America by the time that those EVs come out. There might be 13, 14, 15,000. I don't know. There'll be a lot of charges though. Adopting the NAX standard underlines Nissan's commitment to making electric vehicle mobility even more accessible as we follow our ambition 2030 long-term vision of greater electrification said Jeremy Papin, chairperson of Nissan Americas. We are happy to provide access to thousands more fast charges for Nissan EV drivers, adding confidence and convenience when planning long distance journey. So good move, Nissan. Now, I'm very curious, how does this affect Nissan's plans to put solid state batteries in all of their EVs in 2027? 2026, they're gonna start. By 2028, they say it'll be over and done with. Nissan's EVs will have solid state batteries. They'll be amazing. They're betting this. They've probably said this on at least 40 to 50 occasions over the past 24 months. The future of Nissan is solid state. It will happen within four or five years. How does that play into this plan to use Tesla's NAX chargers? Will they be compatible with solid state batteries? They might be. What do you think about Nissan's plans claiming that they'll be their EVs will be driving around with solid state batteries within a couple of years time? Personally, I think it's unlikely. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.